what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you a custom recovery and this is not actually a ROM or something this is just a video about the custom recovery which is Skyhawk recovery project and as you can see the version is 3.0 as of right now I'm gonna be showing you the 17th January 2021 build of the Skyhawk recovery and if you have not flashed it I would say you can definitely use your Orange Fox recovery or even TWRP recovery to flash this this is just a simple zip and yes there are two versions which I'll explain in a moment but you can flash it with even fast boot too let me show you so it's about 50 MB and the name it says is SHRP version 3.0 or sharp 3.0 general and this general means this is a general ROM flashing recovery like if you're flashing any AOSP based custom ROMs or things like Evolution X or your Corvus ROM etc you can flash those ROMs with this particular recovery now why there are two separate versions well well as you can see here it says MIUI EU version so that means this particular version will only be used if you are flashing MIUI EU based ROMs so that's pretty simplistic if you want to go encrypted way and if you want to just stick with xiaomi.eu roms specifically you can flash those roms with this on those android 11 like xiaomi.eu roms this supports that like kind of encryption and here you won't be having any problems yes yes i am aware that you cannot flash the latest xiaomi.eu roms which is based on android 11 with the latest orange fox recovery because the orange fox recovery is kind of out of development right now for the redmi note 7 pro at least and for that you can use this particular recovery now again i have flashed it with the orange fox recovery and it worked totally fine right now i have this recovery installed but if you open it as you can see there is this recovery.img you can extract this zip file and you get this img file and you can also flash it with the fastboot commands so if you are someone who is flashing for the first time you can use the fastboot commands to flash this kind of recovery this is just an image file inside the zip file so yes if you're using a custom recovery to flash this recovery then use this zip or else if you're using fastboot method you can use this recovery.img file right now i'm on the evolution x rom so let me just boot into the recovery and this is how the boot screen looks like of the skyhawk recovery and here we go here is how it looks like on the screen like the home screen so if you're looking at this home screen you might see that these icons do look familiar to any stock android ish but again it has this circular miui kind of look so looks very beautiful in my opinion and on the top there is the battery section and there is the recovery branding that is skyhawk and inside essentials we will find this flashing section then wipe then backup then restore then mount files and the terminal and the advanced settings so this is how the essentials looks like and the tools we have the magic section and we have the themes then tweaks then settings then security and language and reboot and about so that's how the recovery's home screen looks like and also i like this thing that if you tap on this menu icon here we have a lot of like cool things it says main console over here then mtp is enabled this is like the media transfer protocol so if it's enabled that means you can connect a usb cable to your pc and it will show the internal storage on your pc so that's cool and here we have a lock icon so with this you can definitely lock the recovery over here by locking i mean you can just screen lock it and also if you have a password or something it might lock it with that and here as you can see this is how the lock screen looks like also on the lock screen it shows the time you can enable those i'll show you that later on from here you can enable the torch so as you can see right now the torch is turned on so this is very cool and here you can unlock just like this and again you can turn on the flash too from here so this dark kind of background looks very cool in my opinion and you can also increase or decrease the brightness right from here as you are noticing right now it's on like almost full brightness i'll decrease it its background is black so that is why you might be having a hard time to see the brightness difference but yeah the brightness it definitely increases when you increase that bar so let me show you the flashing section this is how it looks like pretty similar to all other things like let's assume you are flashing something let's select this corvus and this is how it looks like you can select that zip and this is pretty similar to any other recovery as you can see right now if you like select a zip and you select this reboot after installation is complete that thing is there and there is the inject magisk after install so that's cool if you want to install magisk with your rom you can like select this and that will do that and here you can add more zip by clicking on this zip plus and then you can close it or like don't select it 
and stuff like that then if you hit right that like right kind of thing over here if you hit right then it will flash that particular zip which you have selected pretty simplistic flashing so let's go home and you can wipe these stuff as you can see this is how the wipe section looks like it says wipe and then factory reset and here we have the format data and advanced wipe so if you tap on format data here if you tap yes it will format your data so that's cool and here inside advanced wipe of course you can select this dalvik cache system vendor and data then wipe it and you can clean flash a particular rom so pretty simplistic again and here we have the backup section so you can back up these many stuff here let me show you there is a boot cache recovery data and vendor image then system image then dtbo modem efs persist everything you can back up and we also have this enable compression and stuff and then also we have the restore option too and we have the mount option if you want to mount something and flash a gsi or something you can do that and inside files we have the file manager kind of thing like you can browse your internal storage files from here and also of course we have the terminal if you want to write some comments you can do that and inside advanced we have this copy log fix context side load and partition option then inside this magisk as you can see it shows magisk manager over here from right here you can install magisk on your particular rom so that is cool and right now the version of the magisk is 21.2 so that's great right now it shows na because i have not installed magisk so inside themes you tap on right and as you can see it shows open and you click on open and from here you can change the background color i guess so i am guessing you are having a hard time to see this but yes you can change these colors as you are noticing i'll select this so if i do that and hit right so it is currently applying the theme and as you can see it has applied the theme and this is how it looks like you can change the background color just like this and right now it's white i think you are like okay to see this so yes right now it looks cool and then we have this show height component and as you can see you can like enable clock and stuff right now as you are noticing then centered clock that feature won't be working because center on the center there is the like camera over here so we have the status bar time option i guess then battery icon battery percentage you can enable those rounded corners you can also enable those but i'm not enabling that as of right now then there is the cpu temperature too you can enable that i don't know where it shows but yeah there is the more customization so here we have the nav bar customization too so you can change it to next bit samsung custom etc and the default one you are looking at and we have the dashboard customization too so yeah we have the aex style clock and stuff like that huge amount of customizations here i would say and there is this rounded corner customization too so a huge ton of customizations that you get over here so let me just apply this thing quickly now let me talk about the only feature that i miss over here in this particular recovery coming from orange fox recovery if you check that option like disable force encryption on the orange fox recovery that means whenever you are flashing a zip it won't be encrypting your rom or it won't be encrypting your storage so it will decrypt your storage automatically if you have that option checked you don't even need to flash any fcrypt disabler or something for the redmi note 7 pro with the orange box recovery even if you are decrypted and you can just check that option and with that option enabled you flash any kind of particular rom then it decrypts the storage right after flashing the rom automatically but here you have to do one more step let me show you what's that so inside tweaks over here there is the disable force encryption and from here if you have to tap on this disable force encryption and from here you just tap disable right after flashing a rom so this is one more step that you need to do if you are in a decrypted way or if your storage is decrypted so you have to do this step if you want to decrypt the storage or there is a separate like decryption zip that i will list below in the description you can use that too but this one also works for android 11 roms i guess too and let me tell you i have talked to the developer of this particular recovery and he said that he will include that particular feature in the next update of this recovery so i'm really pumped for that and that feature will be legit if he includes it so yes you can use this decryption method and as you can see right now it shows successful fin flashing finished or the decryption finished so yeah this also works but if you're someone who is used to that orange fox kind of feature and here that's simply not present so maybe you want to wait for the next update but even as of right now you can get dec decrypted with a custom rom with this particular feature but yes you have to do one more extra step 
Now after flashing any kind of thing, as you can see there is a really cool thing, you can tap over here. You can then directly reboot to system, then recovery or you may need to wipe something, then you just click on wipe. Now inside tweaks also we find some more things like substratum overlay and disabler substratum option. And we have this clear system log, then install magisk and unroot magisk option is there. And in the settings over here, we have this reverse nav bar layout if you want to use that. 24 hour clock, then some unmount zip before installing. This is just the general settings. As you can see, we're in the general. I'll show you the other stuff later on. And here we have the reboot after installation. You can select that. And there is the disable free space check before backup and stuff. And of course, you can set the recovery time from here. So I have set it to UTC plus five. And then you can change it like the set time offset. As you can see from here, I have changed it to 30. So UTC plus 530. And here we have the device kind of settings. From here, you can customize a lot of things like the screen timeout. You can disable that from here. You have to tap on this section and you can increase or decrease the brightness, of course, from here. Then we have the button vibration too. Then keyboard vibration also you can customize. Then action vibration option is there. Now here we have this sharp setting. So there is a dev mode. I don't know what that does. And there is the install magisk automatically after OT option. And then prevent auto reboot after OT option is there. If you are enabling OT or something, you can use that. Then inside security, we have this security kind of thing. You can enter a password or a pattern over here if you want to. Then of course you can change the languages. And as you can see, these many language options are there in this particular recovery. And of course you can tap on reboot then it shows like really cool like you don't feel like you are in a custom recovery you feel like you are in a rom or something as you can see this power menu definitely feels like android 10's kind of advanced reboot kind of thing power off reboot and then inside advanced there is the recovery and bootloader and the edl mode so yeah these options are there and inside about of course it shows sharp recovery or the skyhawk recovery and the official build over here it says and the recovery version is 3.0 it is in quite bold font and the twrp version shows as 3.5.0 underscore 9-0 and the device name here it shows violet so yeah pretty cool and you can also get more info from here so yes this is a really cool recovery in my personal opinion and you can definitely use this recovery if you're someone who is Flashing Xiaomi.eu ROMs, like the MIUI 12.5 Xiaomi.eu ROMs, you definitely need the MIUI.eu version of this particular recovery. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.